Reuters interview with Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu has further strained one's promising relations between his country and Israel. Amongst many ideas concerning the ways to curtail the rise of radical Islam, Davutoglu expressed the opinion that, if we want to establish peace and order in the Middle East, eliminating all the extremist forces, we have to solve the Palestinian question. He also accused Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of personal culpability in the killing of Palestinian children in playgrounds, adding, nobody can argue about Israeli aggression in Jerusalem in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. These provocations create frustration in the Muslim world and are becoming one of the reasons why these radical trends are emerging. Among other topics, Devotoglu addressed included his belief that a more cohesive strategy towards eliminating the Islamic State forces as well as ousting President Bashar al-Assad of Syria is needed before Turkey can allow staging of international crossings at their border with that country. Turkey is petitioning for full inclusion in the European Union and sees rising anti-Islamic sentiment as both a political and economic stumbling block. The Los Angeles Times newspaper recently featured a profile of Father Richard Estrada, a former Catholic priest turned Episcopal, who has been a leading liberal voice since his days marching with Cesar Chavez. The profile, written by Times immigration reporter Kate Linthicum, focused mainly on Estrada's efforts to raise awareness for the plight of Mexican and Guatemalan refugees. Among his many other efforts, Estrada has been running a non-profit organization since 1989 with a mission to assist with housing, job training, and counseling for young homeless persons mostly newly arriving from Central America. The 72-year-old Estrada, who left the Claritin missionaries in 2013 to join the Anglican umbrella, had planned to take a sabbatical while awaiting his new assignment, but the influx of immigrants that arose after President Obama's recent executive actions have kept him busy despite cataract and arthritic knees. Estrada says he believes in the philosophy of La Posada, which is Spanish for lodging. And in the past, he has used his position as church rector to off offer sanctuary to those seeking asylum from such organizations as INS, said Estrada. I'm into giving shelter. In a book entitled Gandhi and Communal Problems, a compendium of speeches given by Mohandas Gandhi, the Indian revolutionary wrote, religions are given to mankind so as to accelerate the process of realization of fundamental unity. In May of 2009, Pope Benedict, during a speech to Muslim leaders in Jordan, said, Religion is a force for unity. Perhaps it was a misattribution or a paraphrase when an address delivered on the 66th Republic Day, the day that nation, that nation celebrates its constitution, President of India Pranu Mukherjee said, Religion, said Gandhiji, is a force for unity. We cannot make it a cause of conflict. Another possibility is that Mukherjee hoped that by attributing the ideas to his nation's premier founding father, that they would carry more weight. In an original sentiment, Mukherjee bolstered his point, adding, the freedom inherent in democracy sometimes generates an unhappy byproduct when political discourse becomes a competition in hysteria that is abhorrent to our traditional ethos. The address comes at a time when India's right-leaning contingent is pressing Hindu nationalism in an effort to dispel the idea of India being a soft power. It also comes after a recent election placed one party in charge of the entire government with no opposition party large enough to offer pushback. In the same speech, Mukherjee quoted American founding father Benjamin Franklin who said justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are.